Today is July 9th, and once again, we're going to be taking a look at the newest items on Halo Infinite Store and determining whether or not they're worth your money. So, Gate Magpies, I'm MagPileon, and let's jump straight in. So, of course, it's the second week of the Anvil Operation, which brought out the brand new Anvil Operation Pass, alongside the BTB Sentry Defense Mode, which is a lot of fun, and I would definitely recommend trying it out. We also saw the release of a few new items on the exchange, including the Grey Avarice coating and the release of New Dynasty. And finally, we had a few new things on the store, coming in the form of the Cutthroat Business Bundle and the Field Modifications Bundle. Of course, this week, unsurprisingly, there is no new store additions, but none of the other featured bundles, none of the returning ones, have changed either. Now, to be fair, based on how these stores operated the past few weeks, this is unsurprising, but still kind of disappointing. I feel like it would make much more sense to change the featured bundles every week. And of course, I've already made it very clear, I do think the decision to make the new bundles just super bundles is incredibly stupid. Field Modifications does give you the option to buy the items individually, but even then the prices for these items are way too high. And then as I've already mentioned with Cutthroat Business, the fact that this is two armor sets, a weapon model and a kill effect, they should not all be bundled together. Had they released them as individual armor sets and released the weapon model and kill effect individually too, they could have spread these out for the four weeks of the operation, releasing them for much fairer prices, being 1,200 each for the armor sets, as they probably should be, and then maybe releasing the weapon model at 500 credits with its coating and potentially releasing the kill effect on its own too. I think overall this would have been a much smarter decision that not only gives players a reason to check back into the store every week, which you'd think would be something that 343 would definitely want, but would also be providing much fairer deals than what we're currently seeing, as of course 3,200 credits is about $32, and although you do get a lot of items here, they really shouldn't all be in a bundle like this, and the fact that players don't have the option to buy any of these on their own is incredibly stupid. Anyways, as for this week's ultimate reward, again we'll be able to unlock 1,000 Spartan points, which can go towards some of the newly released items in the exchange that we've already mentioned like Great Avarice, New Dynasty or some of the returning ultimate rewards and event items like the Tawny Prairie coating or Sapphire Grey. So of course there is a ton of choice there and we did actually get a handful of decent new items this week. And if you did miss out on some of the older items that came to the exchange, you do still have the option to buy those if you go into the customization menu and just look for the item that you want. I don't expect there to be a playlist change this week since the featured playlists usually remain for as a minimum of two weeks. And I don't really see Sentry Defense going anywhere anytime soon since it seems to be pretty popular amongst the community. Plus, since 343 haven't really mentioned anything yet in terms of upcoming content throughout the operation, that just gives me another reason to expect that we won't really see a change at all. I am hoping though once Sentry Defense rotates out that it is added to the regular BTB playlist, since as I've already mentioned the mode is a ton of fun. Moving over to this week's Community Spotlight, first things first we have this screenshot from Noble Ninja which clearly takes a lot of inspiration from the Destiny series, and they've managed to create a Spartan that looks very reminiscent of the Vex which is kinda cool. We also have some artwork from White Devil, and they've of course drawn their Yoroi Spartan, as a big fan of the Yokai Helmet I had to feature this one. And finally we have this multiplayer Mayhem render from Currently Not Here, which of course features my own Spartan and a few others that you might recognize. Moving over to Spawn of the Week, this week I asked you all for your best Forerunner themed Spawns since we have of course had the release of Sentry Defense, so it just felt right. Anyway, I've chose five different submissions, once again you all did an incredible job, and this first build is from Spectral. Following on from that we have a build from Delusive Man. Next up is a Spawn from E8LS. Next up we have a Spawn build from Miles. And finally, we have one from Legends X Boy. Again, all of the Forerunner themed Spartans you all made this week were incredible. And of course, if you want the chance to be featured as the Spartan of the Week or want the opportunity to be featured in the Community Spotlight, then make sure to join the Discord. I will leave a link to that in the pinned comment. Anyway, I think that pretty much sums up everything that I have to talk about today. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.